wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within and we are Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks and help you become a better trader. Today, we'll unveil what's hot and what's not for you, our viewers. So let's get straight into it. On your screen right now is a watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. Now, I mean, an interesting week this week, obviously dominated in the news by uh, tech companies. We saw Weiss Tech Global uh, pretty much be the standout uh, reporter so far during reporting season. And, you know, the market took a very much a liking to those results up 28% last week. Judo Capital coming in with 18%. I mean, this is not uncommon, this heightened volatility and these double digit moves given we are in reporting season. So, you know, what's interesting is Charter Hall made it in the top three. Now, you know, real estate uh, last week was in the red uh, as a whole in, in the sector, but um, Charter Hall bucking that trend. So that's probably a stock to watch, um, you know, particularly with these stocks that do buck the uh, general trend. Um, Across the board, it's a bit of a mixed board. You've seen uh, Breville, Monodelphus is quite nice coming into the picture, Fisher and Paykel, Linus Rare Earths. So we're seeing, you know, some consumer discretionary, some utilities, some financials are coming in. There's a few materials. Uh, materials was also in the green this week. So that, that's quite nice. Keep an eye out for that sector because that might be turning around slowly. But, you know, Northern Stars come into that top uh, 20, which is quite nice. Now, moving on, to the worst performers this week. Um, we saw Ingham's uh, down 21%. Megaport, very disappointing. You know, if we just look at that one, it looked like it was gonna find some support on this nice uh, trend that it was uh, following, but, you know, had a really rough week falling back down. Insignia Financial down 18%. A2 Milk Company also, that's quite disappointing. Down Collins Food. Um, down, and as we go down further, we get into the 7%, 654, but starting to see some of those energy players down 6%. Now, although we haven't seen, you know, uh, a big fall in terms of the energy, the energy sector was the one that was hit the hardest last week, down over about 3%, um, which was a little disappointing because hopefully energy, along with that materials, if they can get going, that'll be the real push for our market, given IT uh, or technology is roaring. That was up 8% last week and financials are still thereabouts providing some good results and tracking up nicely in terms of their trends uh, dating back from the start of the year. So moving on, what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Sandfire Resources, stock ticker code SFR. So on your screen right now is the monthly chart on the left and the weekly chart on the right. And um, you know, resource stock, quite interesting. Again, one that is bucking the trend. You're looking at, uh, you know, uh, the minerals or the miners, um, things like BHP, Rio, Fortescue, down a lot. You look at Sandfire, very, very different picture. This stock, you know, has experienced a couple of months fall, but have a look at the way it's falling. You know, each fall dating back from June 2024, we're going lower, but we're still closing well within the ranges of the previous months. That in itself is very exciting short term. But let's zoom out and go bigger picture. Obviously, this level that I've marked here around the $4 and $3.20 level, it's a bit of a range. But to me, um, what I have marked is the most significant level for this stock in its uh, history. You can see that it has been pretty much the springboard to all major moves dating back uh, to June 2010. It was a springboard back in 2015, again, back in 2020 during COVID and also October, November, 2022. So this really is a strong base, $4 for this stock. But what I've also marked are the next two most important levels of support and resistance, from my opinion. You can see that the stock hovered around $6.70 for a very long time, um, you know, dating back again from 2010. And the stock is well and truly clearly through that level now. The third most important level, as I've marked here, is that $7.95, $8 level. It provided resistance back at those previous all-time highs, but now 
We're on the flip side of it, finding a really nice level of support so far during August. You can see the close is well above the high and also closing above the two previous months. But just to, I guess, finish this one off, what's uh, not so surprising and uh, things you need to keep in mind is you can see that each time this stock's broken through to a new all-time high, it does experience a pullback. Now that pullback will give you some insight into how bullish or, or um, how weak the stock is. And again, what's interesting is that following that previous all-time high in June 2018, we broke through to a new one in May 2024. And look at the pullback. I mean, we're still holding above $8. Date that back to what happened back in June 2018 when we broke through for the first time, breaking that previous all-time high in 2013. Broke through really strong. Look at how strong that initial move was. Sharp down move. Um, really, that range there is basically the same range as those three bars there. So it was clear that we, when we broke out to the previous all-time high there, that sellers wanted to get involved and take profits and we saw the market fall all the way back down. Now, to me, this scenario is very different. Currently, we're seeing really strong strength. So if this market can hold above $8 and you know start to close near these highs, I think there is definitely further upside and a break to new all-time highs for Sandfire moving forward. Now, I just wanna get into the weekly chart real quick. And I've added a nice little momentum line there, just showing you that we are in an uptrend and this stock really is supporting its long-term momentum. It doesn't look like the momentum is, um, if you will, let me just get this line here for you. It doesn't look like it's ex expanding or extending. Um, and that's an important point because once you see the market extend from this natural level of gradient or level of rise, that's when you start to, uh, you need to really get, uh, watch the stock closely for signs that it is going to end that run up. But we're not there yet. In fact, we're falling into a nice little pullback and looking to break out to uh, runs back to that $10 level at the minimum. So that is it for my hot stock tip. Now we're moving onto a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Centuria Industrial REIT stock ticker code CIP. And on your screen are the charts of Centuria Industrial REIT. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this stock here, uh, or the real estate sector was down last week um, and not performing too, too well, but What's interesting about Centurion, I wanna bring up the monthly chart here for you. And again, I've marked a very important price level for this stock, which is that $2.50 to $2.30 range. You can see that clearly since 2015, this has been the base for this stock. I mean, buyers have really bought up the $2.50 level. You saw it accumulate for a very long time during the 2015 to 2018 period, really stabilizing the grants in price there. We saw it break through, COVID happened, and look at that, it got picked up strongly during COVID. And recently, in September 2022, again, it came back, you know, some buyers there would have uh, got a very nice entry um, with the stock breaking up. But why it's a caution to me is that it's now faltered into this sideways move. You can see the highs getting lower and the lows getting higher. Now, we know from, um, you know, when the market makes these kinds of patterns that oh, one of three things can happen. It can stay stuck sideways, until it breaks directional. But with it moving sideways, we do know that the next move is likely to be directional once it gets going. So that's why it's a caution for me right now, because if you're looking to play this uh, stock, you could be stuck in between these ranges of $3.50 and with it rising around $3.12. So not much long-term potential, but if the stock starts to break above $3.60, then hey, this whole sideways congestion move will lend itself to a expansion expansionary type move, which will be trending. And to that point, I think if it can get through $3.58, it is looking like the all-time highs are a very realistic target for this one in the medium to long term. If it breaks through these levels through here, this momentum line, then I would argue that we're going back down to $2.50, $2.60 in the medium to long term. And just to add a little bit of more, because the question is, is it more bullish or more bearish? Now, obviously confirmation will tell you that answer on a breakout of either of these lines, but the real confirmation will come from, you know, what it does above or below these lines. So you've got some really clear line in the sand moments for this stock, but that is it for CIP. Now, lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Tab Corp Holdings Limited stock ticker code. T-A-H. So let's get into the charts right now on your screen, obviously is the monthly and weekly charts. Now I wanna bring up 
the monthly chart here for you first and then move on to the weekly. But I mean, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that this stock is not performing, uh, particularly from these highs in May 2023. It's fallen away quite sharply. It had a nice run back in May 2020 from that COVID period. But given on this particular run, we failed to break through to a, a new all-time high. We were still in limbo as to whether this stock really had long-term legs for strong, strong growth. But, um, you know, we've kind of faltered back into these levels around 55 cents. And to me, you know, the very clear level as to where we're moving is somewhere between this 42, 43 cent mark and potentially maybe up to 53 odd cents. So there is one argument that we are nearing the end of the fall, which means that, you know, really as a trader, you should start to be looking at this stock. But again, we're always talking about trading on that confirmation. And until it starts to move, then you've got to assume what is happening will continue to happen. And that is, you know, this stock being in that long-term downtrend. There was potential back in, I guess, December 2023, where you saw this bar, it, you know, find a bit of a reversal, close higher, close above the previous month's low, but only to capitulate away again, which again, speaks to the fact that one month doesn't make a reversal, um, especially given what it has, uh, what has happened previous to that move. We saw that really strong move and uh, just one month with a move less than half of what it has risen, particularly in October 2023, is not enough uh, with these kinds of stocks or with these kinds of uh, price action. Now, I want to move to the weekly chart just to sum things up to see whether there is potential opportunity because one thing you will see when stocks are coming out of significant lows, you will see volume start to pick up. And you know, particularly during 2020, you saw volume quite flat, but look at this period through here, we saw volume creep up to give you an example that, hey, or an indication that buyers are coming in or there is heightened activity to give you, lend that idea that, hey, um, the market is, is moving right now in terms of a liquidity and that in itself is a signal that the market could reverse but right now we're not seeing any of that in fact look at this volume is falling away it's falling lower so until volume picks up that is something that you could watch for a rise in volume to see that potentially we are going to see a reversal but even to that point if we use the 2020 period the safer type of move is to see confirmation in price and once you start to see a higher base through there a higher secondary base a higher third base a period where a grants has happened in price, that's where you're really seeing that confirmation that, hey, sellers can't take this market any lower, buyers are agreeing, they're pushing the market higher, they're showing strong support, and you know that's where you get involved to get that real safe uh, move, but also you can see how strong it accelerates because that's where a lot of the, I guess, participation or the safe participation, smart participation, however you wanna put it, gets involved pushing that market faster and higher. So right now, um, again, again, just to sum it up, we're not seeing any of that. Lower lows, lower highs, no volume supporting. So right now it's a case of wait for this one until you do see that confirmation. But thank you for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Now remember to tune in to the Live Australian Stock Market Show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday night. To find us, just type Wealth Within Live in the YouTube search. And remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 03 9290998. Or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com. .au. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you for watching for now. Goodbye, good luck and good trading.